Rest in peace. It's not just for funerals anymore. Top of the morning to you. So, you don't have to die to rest in peace. Isn't that great news? Well, let me explain. As a young man, I was always on the go, uh, only resting when I was forced to. And I was taking on a lot and was married, worked a full-time job, went to school full-time, and we had a baby. Needless to say, life was hectic. Now that I look back at it, I was constantly under stress. It didn't seem to bother me then as I was juggling all the responsibilities, but the stress was creeping in and affecting our family's well-being in a variety of ways. When you or a piece of equipment are kept under tension for a long period, they both have a tendency to weaken with fatigue. If the tension is not relieved, the part, of the, the part or the person are subject to failure. God was very aware of this problem in the beginning when he created the world, so much so he led by example and rested on the seventh day. He also gave us his children a directive in Exodus 31:15, saying, Six days work may be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath, a day of rest, holy to the Lord. In fact, uh, violation of this rest was a death sentence. This was God's way of helping us, showing us how to take care of ourselves and get out of constant tension, subjecting ourselves to breakage. And it was a specific kind of rest our, our Lord had in mind. Uh, in fact, in one of the Ten Commandments in Exodus 20, verse 8, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Holy means set apart. We are set apart this time to rest in the Lord, Psalm 37, 7, and wait patiently for Him. In other words, relax, get your mind off things of this world, and put your focus totally on Him. When we do this, we get a promise in Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When you follow my lead and, and le learn from me, you will find rest for your souls. What a great promise. It, but it takes wisdom to follow this godly advice here. You may say, I do my best when under stress. And that may be true, but only for a short time. Constant stress or uh, constantly exposing your body to tension only leads to failure. Why not follow the manufacturer's guidance, in this case, God the Father, and take that one day or a week, it doesn't need to be a Sunday, but one day to put your mind on Christ and what He did for us on the cross and get in that thankful state of rest. Fill your time with reading His Word, praying, listening, and singing praise and worship music, giving God thanks for His love and how great he takes care of us. Have a great day.